it's Lynn from Lynnie C Designs and today I'm just going to show you how to make a version of this card. Um, I am using a um, card base which is a standard A6 in um, the UK. Tempting turquoise cut in A A4 cut in half and then scored at um, in half. Top folding card. I've got a scrap of Whisper White cardstock, um, which measures five and a half by um, ten and a half, and then I've got a, a layer for the inside, which is just cut at half a centimeter, uh, half a centimeter um, border round. So um, you just get a nice tempting turquoise border. That's going to go on the inside. I'm using three ink colours, Tempting Turquoise, Pacific Point and Soft Sky. And we'll just get those opened up. I've got, I'm actually using up one of my, um, another favourite um, stamping up set, Grateful Bunch, which is sadly retiring at the end of this month. Um, I really love this. I'm just using three of the images from that. It does come with the matching punch which is called the blossom bunch punch bit of a mouthful but I'm not using that the punch today so um, that's probably enough, enough waffle I will um, get on and make the card so we'll do the stamping get the stamping done to begin with I'm going to line the card up um, on the grid paper and I'm just going to I want this panel closer to the right hand side and so I'm just using um, there's a thicker line on the grid paper and I'm just using that to try and work out where I want um, the lace trim so I'm going to do that a tone on tone stamping and I'm going to do that down here hopefully we'll get that uh, straight or straight enough. Just hold that down so that the ink transfers. That's lovely. Um, and then we will stamp this. I'm going to use butterflies on this. And I've got. I'm going to start with the darkest Pacific point. And I'm going to go on that side. I'm using my stamping scrub to clean the butterfly in between. I've already applied the stamping mist to this side which has little raindrops in the corner. This is the dry side so scrub and then dry. That's got a sun in the corner. Let's use the tempting turquoise. We'll go off to the side there. And then the last butterfly is in the palest colour which is soft sky and it's very subtle colour there. Oh, it's stuck down. Lovely. Spacing's not brilliant, but uh, nobody knows. Well, now you lot know. Um, I'm going to come in with the sentiment. Let's get it up the right way around in the darkest colour. You are loved a lot. That's rather sweet. That's there. While I'm here, I will clean that off. Now, what this card is actually cased from an old Stamping Up Success magazine. I'm changing out just a little bit, but um, I quite like the um, edges. I wanted the edges to be like a, a ticket, but I don't have a corner rounder, so. What I'm going to do, again using the grid paper, I'm just going to make a little mark on the back side, um, half a centimetre in and half a centimetre um, along on each of the corners. And then I've got a circle punch, which is a three quarters of an inch circle punch. And I'm just going to line that up. and chomp off the corner. And it gives you quite a nice little matching curve. Let's 
general idea if I can see it properly. It's Sunday evening here so apologies if there's lots of shadows on my filming. I'm using my trusted Samsung. That's perfect. I'm happy with that. I don't know if you can see that but it gives it a nice little ticket edge to the um, just get ink on myself there. Ink. While the inks are open and before I shut them I'm going to just um, stamp, do some stamping. So I'm going to stamp the trim down at the bottom here. Lovely. And then I'm going to do butterfly in tempting turquoise um, and I'm going to do that in the corner. I've done a similar thing on the envelope already so that's rather lovely. I'm going to put that there and um, I've decided actually that I'm going to round the corners. I've got the We Are Memory Keepers Cropodile corner chomper and it literally does what it says on the tin. It chomps the corner so we'll do that on the, the card base and the insert. Um, just attach the insert with some, some um, fast fuse and I tend to just put the fast fuse at the top because it doesn't need anything else. There we go. Now I want to put this panel on with um, dimensionals, but before I do, I'm going to put some um, silver thread on. So let me just close my inks up before I get more covered. I'm going to put a glue dot directly onto Hard. a couple of glue dots there and then I'm going to this thread is so thin but I think it adds a nice little touch one two three four five Oop, I must have do that wrong sorry again start, start again one two three four five six seven eight I'm just going to stick that together there and then place that place that she said hopefully place that on the glue dots and then you can just play around with that until get into the right positions. Let's have a look. Lovely. So we're going to just put that loose bit on there. I'm going to put one in each corner and you can actually use that to help secure some of that thread. One in the middle. Take off the backing if we can manage that. Some more fingers and thumbs. There we go. And so to finish. I think we will put, I've got some enamel, uh, Bright's enamel shapes and we will put three hearts on there and there we have it um, and a matching envelope. So very quick run through. Thank you ever so much for watching. I am almost at 100 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for bearing with me and watching my videos. 
I'm not sure I'm getting any better but anyway thank you very much if you want to browse through my shop online shop please do I would love to um, be your demonstrator thanks for watching bye bye